Hello wonderful people, you're welcome back to my channel. We are drafting the basic bodies block today. What is bodies? Bodies is the section of the clothing covering the body from the neck to the waist. That is the upper part of your clothes. With this basic bodies block, you'll be able to draft, you'll be able to create different types of tops and dresses. So please enjoy the class. The first measurement we need is the shoulder to shoulder measurement that is measured from this shoulder bone to the other shoulder bone and you measure it at the back of the body. The second one is the bust point. Your bust point is measured from the base of your neck that is at your eye shoulder to the fullest part of your bust that is to your nipple. Then we need the bust span, that is the difference, the distance between the two busts. We need the bust circumference, that is measure round your bust. We need the front waist length, the back waist length and the waist measurement. For this, you have to find where your natural waist is and I advise that you bend to the side the part that goes inside that is the tiniest part of your torso you can see from this picture it is a few inches maybe like one or two inches above your belly button so find where your natural waist is you can tie elastic or any rope on that level when you find it so at the front measure from the base of your neck over the fullest part of your bust to your natural waist that gives you your front waist length at the back measure from the nape of your neck that is from the first vertebra bone at your back let your table start from there to your natural waist that is the back waist length and then take your waist measurement that is the circumference of your waist at that level also this is our starting point from here we're going to calculate our chest line or our humble depth we we'll divide our bust by six and add two to it the bust I'm working with here is 36. So 36 divided by 6, that gives me 6 plus 2, that is 8. So from here, I'll do 8. Like I said, I'm not adding any seam allowances for now. I'm going to add everything at the end. Okay, so from here again, we are going to measure our bust point. The bust point is 9. And then measure the front waist length. My front waist length is 18. We divide our bust span. That is the difference between the two breasts. My own is 7. We divide it by 2. That gives us 3.5. And we measure it this way. And draw our line. Now we go to our horizontal measurement. Now, let me label first. This is our shoulder line. This is our chest line. This is the bust point, the bust line. And this is the waist line. So at the bust line, we divide our bust by four and I'm going to be adding one inch for ease allowance. 
The bust is 36 divided by 4, that gives us 9 plus 1 inch is allowance. That gives us 10. At the waist, we we'll do our waist divided by 4. The waist is 30 divided by 4, that's 7.5 plus one inch for that allowance. So that gives me 8.5. Now I'm going to connect the two points and extend it to the chest line like this. This is the shoulder line. Shoulder to shoulder measurement is 15. We divide it by two, that gives seven. Point five. At that point, we come down one inch to create our shoulder slant. Then three inches here, and then we connect. Connect this point to the chest line with a straight line. Make sure the line is straight. And this new line that we have drawn, we're going to divide it by two. This is seven divided by two. That gives us 3.5. At that point, go in by 0 0.75. Now connect it this way. And then use your curve to connect this point to the chest line. At the neck, we do three inches by three inches. And then cut it. And that is the neck. At the beginning, we measured the front half length, the, uh, the front waist length, and the back waist length. And we can see that there's a difference. The front waist length I measured was 18. The back waist length I measured was 16. So there's a difference of 2. That 2 inches is what we're going to be using to create the bust dart at the side seam. So this is my 2 inches measured from the bust line to inches okay and then two inches away from the post point you know this is the post point and then we connect so this is our dart and then there's a waist dart here too you remember we added one inch for the waist dart, so this is um, half inch to both sides of the line. That gives me one inch. Then come down one inch from the bust point. And that gives us Okay, so now that we are done, the next thing is for us to put our seam allowance. So I'm going to be putting half inch all round. And this side is on fold, so we don't need to put any allowance there. Here, you can put just quarter at the neck, just a quarter at the neck.
and now we are done with the front. This is the back. A lot of things are similar you know, with the front. I'm going to tell you the things I've done and the difference between the front and the back. Now, we're going to be adding the zip allowance to the back. And this is the zip allowance. I added one inch zip allowance to the back. Now, look at the neck. The neck in front, I did three inches by three inches. But the back, I'm doing three inches by one inch. The neck, back neck is higher than the front neck. The shoulder slant is the same. The bust, the chest line, the bust is the same. But the length, the back, we're going to be using the back waist length for the back. While we use the front waist length for the front. That's why this is shorter than the front waist length. You can see, That's, it is shorter. But by the time you take your dart at the um, side, then the length, the side length will be the same as the back. Now the armhole, we are still going to divide this by two. But instead of coming in by three quarter like we did in front, we are coming in only by a quarter, just a quarter. Then we connect just like we did the front and of course there's no side dart at the back and then we still do one inch dart at the waist half inch to both sides of the line but here we are in the front we stopped one inch below the bust point the bust line but the back we are taking it to the chest line so we connect this to the chest line that is the difference and then we are done with the back then the next thing is to impute our Same allowance. I'm doing quarter of the neck and then half inch all the way around. Okay, so this is the front and this is the back. Like I said at the beginning that you can use this to make your dresses, your blouses, you know, we can decide to have a break at the waist or it can be continuous like you have uh, your straight dresses and all that. So if you're going to be joining something like a peplum to the waist, then that means you need to put um, your seam allowance here too but if not if it's going to be continuous like you're doing a dress then you don't need your seam allowance here just continue and make your dress thank you for watching today's um, tutorial I hope you have learned so much please I'd like you to try it and let me know your outcome at the comment section Subscribe to my channel so that when I'm doing another pattern, you can be notified. Thank you very much. God bless you.